Hello. Is it maybe 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 is is that enough? Is it is it enough? Yes. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the world of high strength stainless steel hollow sections with Pekka. My name is Pekka. As you might have guessed. I'm into the high strength stainless steel hollow sections because they are strong. High strong. I wanted to reach out to a man that shares my passion for high strength stainless steel hollow sections. Greetings. I dare you to come to test our high strength stainless steel hollow sections because they are strongest. Well, the first thing I think we're going to need is a... Yes, but first... Interesting. Hmm. Hello, hello. Hi. Lauri, Jamie. Nice to meet you. And welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Thank you, Lauri. But today it's about high strength stainless steel hollow section. That we are going to crush with my press over here. Lauri is the man behind the very popular YouTube channel Hydraulic Press Channel. Today, we put the high strength stainless steel hollow sections into a test. So let me see if I've got this straight. We're going to be comparing the high strength stainless sections to the mild steel. I think it was S355 sections. Yes. And see how they compare in strength and toughness, right? Yeah. And that's where Lowry's big toy comes in because I think that thing's going to crush them. Don't touch me. You're in my personal space. Okay, here goes the first one, and you can see from the display how much it can take the force. Okay, bit over 10 tons. I didn't even slow it down. It's quite beautiful, actually. This is the 316 Ti. Yes. Yeah, that was already 17 tons, so much more. Slowed it down a little at first. But the end result looks pretty much the same. No, this one looks better. It is more beautiful. So this is a 304L, right? Around 17 tons also, but the end result is still crushed tube. And finally, the beast, the lean duplex. Okay, let's see if it goes over 20. I think it's going to go. Almost turned. That was a lot. That shook the whole machine. Yeah, and you can hear how the machine has to work for it. Okay, well, that pretty well tells the story, doesn't it? Yeah, I think Pekka and Pekka's lean duplex are the winners here today. Well, you know, I've worked with both steel and stainless steel quite a bit, and I would normally just go for the stainless steel if I wanted corrosion resistance. But what I'm seeing here is it's not only corrosion resistant, but it's flat out stronger. Thank you. Yeah, it was also stronger than my press tools. Don't throw them in the trash. They are 100% recyclable. So we're going to crush the S355 mild steel again, but this time we're going to do it with heat from a torch. What a lot of people may not realize is that even a moderate amount of heat can dramatically weaken steel. 
Okay, I'm going to switch the heat on and there is not going to be anything moderate about that. <laughs> okay, that's 10 tons of force on top of the pipe. Let's see how long it lasts. It can't be long with this amount of force and heat. Or it's like nine tons. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. That wasn't very long. And now we're gonna be testing the 316 Ti stainless. Okay, here it goes. Okay, that's nine tons. That's pretty strong, even with the heat. Of course it is. You can already see that it's starting to get wet. Does it even fold at all? It's going to take forever. How it can be still standing? It's like completely red hot. That's amazing. Yeah, what a difference. Now it's starting to get heated all the way through. Yeah, the press is getting also hotter. It's have problems producing enough force anymore. Finally, there you go. Well, I think that pretty well says it all. Even with the heat, the 316 Ti was a clear winner. I mean, the press started having trouble with it, didn't it? Well, this proves that the Stala 350 will prevail in case of fire and pressure. Hmm. I'm getting the sense you're still not satisfied, though, are you? Hmm. You want to up the stakes? Yes. Next time it took us to Lappenranta University Test Lab. It's a nice place. Have good memories of parting wild tail. So, that's you, huh? Yes. As you can see, I'm a funny guy. I guess so. Well, we're about to up the stakes. We've got a much larger piece of austenitic 304L stainless steel tubing on the press, and it has a much thicker wall. So to crush this tube, we're going to need to do the equivalent of stack about 10 full-sized concrete trucks on top of it. That's a lot of weight, but this press right here, it's a monster. If anything can do it, it will. So for the first test, we're going to crush this tube but for the second test, just because we can, we're gonna pull it right back to where it was, if it's possible. Sounds like my life. Here we go. Ow. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. It is starting to smoke. Yeah, well, I guess 10 concrete trucks were enough. So now we're gonna crush it, but then we're gonna put it back the way we found it. We're gonna pull it out. Just because we can. Yeah. There it goes. Uh, just a friendly little squeeze. Only 150,000 kilos. Oh, there it goes. It looks pretty good. Well, it looks like it pulled it back pretty close to the way it was before, but you see that dent in the top there? Well, that's because when it buckled, that particular area, it work hardened. It's what this type of material does. So when it bends, it sort of changes the crystalline structure, and that has the feature of making this stronger the more load that it seeds, which is kind of neat. It's kind of like, uh, if it doesn't kill me, it makes me stronger. More high stronger. Yeah. yeah. And that is why this is useful for structures. Exactly. Well, I think we did what we came to do, so thank you, Pekka. I think we need more tests. What are you suggesting? A trip.
By using high strength stainless steel, you'll get the highest strength, the lightest weight, the highest corrosion resistance, good formability, and it's maintenance free. In addition to all that, it's a sustainable job. After the success of the first tests, we decided that more is needed to prove the strength of our high strength stainless steel hollow set. Uh -oh. The moment of truth. And for that, we, we took a flight to Spain.